it's about making sure that you're setting aside the time for it. So if you're going to do it, it's absolutely fantastic. I loved it. Um, loved every minute of it. But it takes a time commitment. But just also be aware that you've got support around you. It's helpful if you know somebody on the course, you know, you make friends on the course and that becomes invaluable for both courses. It's just having that person to kind of touch base with. If I was to give advice to people, you know, do a little bit and a little bit and keep chipping away at it um, because there's nothing worse than sitting up trying to kind of cram everything, you know, a few days ahead of it. So, so yeah. <laughs> The most important thing would be to tailor it to your own interests. Um, whatever you find in your classroom practice that impacts how you work alongside children in your classroom, how you best serve them, um, how you work alongside colleagues, fellow practitioners, um, you need to have something that you're interested in. It is a really engaging course and there is so much along the course that you can implement in your classroom. It's not always additional work because it'd be things that you're exploring anyway as part of your own professional development. And I think if there is something you're passionate about in education, this is the opportunity to do it and you can absolutely implement that alongside your classroom practice. Uh, the workload isn't huge if it's something that you're interested in or something that you feel challenged by or that you want to question. If you're passionate about it, um, that would be my biggest piece of advice. Organisation is absolutely fundamental. <laughs> you uh, do need to be really disciplined in making sure you set time aside for it. In the day to day when it's really busy and you know you've got a million things on your to-do list, but you know what, you're really important too and making time for your own professional learning is one of the big lessons that I've had to take from this. Setting that time aside to do the reading and to engage with the work it does bear fruit. I would advise you to try and keep your eye on the long game when it comes to making time for your, your learning and your reading.